Hey guys, Brent Chapman here. Uh, I want to talk to you about one of the hottest techniques out there, uh, a bait that's uh, been, been a, a good one for a lot of people, and it's the Ned Rig. Uh, the Ned Rig came about four or five years ago. It's actually been, uh, been fished for quite a while longer, and uh, old Ned Katie, we love you, and uh, it's amazing that they, they came up with a technique based after your name. And uh, I got to see this, this uh, technique well before it became popular. Now about every soft plastic manufacturer has a, a bait for it. And uh, as you can see, a lot of different manufacturers have jig heads for it. And it's amazing how that's evolved as well. And one I've got right here that I'm really excited about is uh, this is the Eagle Call Laser Sharp. This is a, a finesse jig head is what they're calling it, but basically for the Ned Rig. And it's actually, uh, it's got the laser sharp hook with it features the Pro V bend to it. You can kind of see here, this Pro V bend is really cool. It's got almost a V shape to it or a notch in it. And what that's designed for is when it actually hooks the fish, that that, that gets in that notch and it doesn't slide around on the hook. So it's, it's gonna hold the fish better. And uh, what's really cool about uh, what uh, Eagle Claw designed here, it's got this little plastic keeper on the head that's really good. Uh, for, for holding your, your Ned rigs on there. So I've got this little Ned rig bait right here. Uh, you know, base, guys are basically just taking a, a stick worm and cutting them in half, but this is one. So I just kind of measure off uh, where that hook point will come out, try to get it good and straight, thread that through there, pop that deal out. It's real important that you have this thing straight, but you can see it's got that little keeper. And so I'm gonna slide my bait up over that and once it gets on there it's on there I mean it's not coming off and that's a big deal when you set the hook you know you don't want that bait sliding down there and balling up on the hook so you don't get a good hook up or uh, uh, you know if you miss a fish you know if a bait ball if it balls up on there you know you won't get a fish to follow that up but with this one they're not going to pull that off of there so you could potentially catch several fish but they come in a variety of sizes but the uh, 16th ounce and 8th ounce is what I prefer. This is a little 16th ounce head uh, or the 8th ounce for a little bit heavier versions. I've got this on 16 pound fluorocarbon followed up with uh, this is 8 pound Cast King Cast Pro Braid. I like yellow because you can see it really well. I uh, got a little FG knot on there with the fluorocarbon leader right here. I mean that's that's such a key. You got the little FG knot six pound line, eight pound fluorocarbon leader. I've been really surprised. Uh, I really prefer eight pound because you can throw it a mile. I've got it on a Cast King uh, Speed Demon Reel. This is a seven to one reel and a Cast King Cast Pro Finesse Tube setup. But uh, guys, if you've fished a, a Ned Rig, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, I encourage you to, to give the uh, Finesse Jig Heads a try, the, the laser sharp Finesse Jig Heads. Uh, really impressed with the quality of them. But uh, Ned Rig fishing, it's, uh, it needs to be a staple in your tackle box because it'll, it'll catch fish when nothing else will.